Hello for you, but I'm not gonna shush Anyways, anyways, hello, <laughs> hello everybody and welcome back to the modded character showcase. People have asked for Golem, and so we're gonna be doing some Golem runs. Um, he's a character that I quite enjoy. I've not played a ton of on my um on my other save file, and people said that they wanted to do the most upvoted comments, so we shall play Golem. And I've just immediately walked straight back out of the room that I meant to walk into. Oopsie daisy. Um, right. First of all, bomb this, and then. This one's the one that you can grind for free, right? Chance for an extra rune or soul stone dropping from opening chests, blowing up tinted rocks, and destroying slot machines. Guaranteed soul to appear in planetariums and abandoned planetariums has a unique interaction with a certain item. Oh ho ho. You do say. You do say. Anyways, grab some health here. And I'll take both of these for now. I'm quite pretty happy with the rubber geode as well, the, the tennis ball firing one. Um, it's a little bit of extra damage and bruising on some enemies, which I quite like. And yeah, this this opening chest and getting extra stuff one seems, uh, seems pretty useful. Yeah, you see that? Look, it just bounced around those guys and put the weakening thing on them, which I, I still don't know how exactly the bruising affects enemies. I think they take more damage, but I'll be honest, that's mainly just me guessing. But it's going to be really good for rooms like this, and the, the chance to fire him is, is like reasonably high. It seems like it's really sort of 1 in 10 shots, something along that, the, those lines. I think it's more luck based. I don't think it's a guarantee of every 1 in so many shots. I think it's just based on luck. I mean, unfortunately, we have not fired one in absolutely ages here, so my, my theory is uh, currently showing itself to be quite wrong. But anyways, some golem. Some golem we go. And we'll hopefully get some good item rooms alongside this bad boy. What we got here converts one heart container into four to six random pickups. That sounds fucking atrocious. It is part of the Tammy, uh, Tammy thingy though. One heart container into four to six pickups. That sounds like such a terrible trade. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry, game, but that does uh, that does not sound like a trade that I'll be wanting to take unless I have binge eater. <laughs> And even then, I don't think it's that useful. But anyways. We'll continue on with our little boss here. We'll hopefully tennis ball him. Effectively. You see there, look, we got him on two little uh, armor break, break sort of things. I'm doing okay damage. We do want to find secret room as well, because there's always a um, extra trinket, stone trinket, in secret rooms. You also get one guaranteed from the bosses as well. So we've got many avenues to gain extra HP here. Didn't particularly like the fact that he sent that guy zooming at me at the speed of like, can you can you chill out with those guys, my guy? I'd rather you just dive at me. It's way more manageable. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Pretty much guaranteed damage there. Uh some extra damage there, lovely. Um chance to fire a spiral shot that inflicts drowsy. Ooh, that's pretty good. Um This is a geode. It says um, held the geode, higher shot, higher odds and shot has a chance to immediately inflict sleep. And then this one, um, yeah, so we want both of these, definitely. Um, so we'll just grab this one for now and take it down here. But about having both of those together is going to be real nice. It's a pretty good combination to have early on. Didn't get to have, like, this do its thing, but there you go. Right, let's quickly try and find a secret room real quick as well. Should be somewhat obvious. One moment. Right, there you go. Sorry about that. Right. Um, we did just got Sinfoil, which is a pretty nice bonus for us. Setting enemies to sleep, as you can see. And, uh, ooh, whoa. Okay, I see how they work now. They're literally spiral shots. I didn't realize they were going to work that way. No, that could have been a free secret room bugger. I'm not entirely sure if that is secret room, uh, but we could have at least checked it. Uh, nah, I actually think it's here. It is indeed, and I actually got some uh, extra stuff from that as well. Look at these spiral shots doing their business. I like this. I like this. Oh, the little head's asleep. He's a sleepy head, literally. Oh my god, odd stone. This is tricky because smoothly odd stone's like insanely good. Apple of pride. Unfortunate. I think I'm going to go with the other two, to be honest. I know that it's uh, blasphemy to get rid of Smoothly Odd Stern, but... I think I'm going to have to. It's so good, because basically it means that when you pick up a Soul Heart, it gives you more Soul Hearts. But I like the idea of the other two more. I like the idea of the other two even more. Because they're both Geodes, and I like the idea of both of them procking more often. That just sounds fun. 
Right. Let's go. Yeah, both of them are going to proc more often, and they have some additional effects on top of it. I think that's, I think that's really good. Good damage, and then we got all these doing their doing their thing. Oh, we can get a we can get a shot that's both at once as well here. Yeah, this is insane. I'm glad I did this. Still have no idea if I'm ever gonna end up using this active item. I mean, would you guys use this? Okay, this is insane. Like the instant sleeping is uh is pretty nuts. This is very good. Ooh, that's insanely useful. <laughs> That's a very, very strong card. Cannot lie, that card is, uh, kind of nutty. Big bit of money there as well, lovely. We'll uh, check out a shop if we get the opportunity. Good, good, we, we are going to get the opportunity, lovely. Oh, cancer, hell yes. Honestly, I think I'm going to burn my holy mantle on um, both of these. Oh, okay, it doesn't matter. One of them's locked away. Still, that was I think that was worth it for the holy mantle. This this is insanely strong. Rocks occasionally leak gas. Okay, um, let's go in here real quick and see what we got going on. Restock. Oh, we got the B one, which I think is a very good idea. Right, let's quickly grab this and go in and trade it in for some HP. I'm not going to smelt any of these... Um, it's this one, right? Yeah. I'm not going to smell either of these ones that we've got right now because it lessens their effectiveness when you smelt things. And I'd rather have them doing what they're doing right now because what they're doing right now is insane. This might be like one of the best combos I've ever had. Never mind this early. This is insane. I love this. And then we've also got the bees in here as well to just make some extra ruckus. If only I knew what bruising did, but you can see how much we're bruising the enemies. It, like, full tilts them straight away. It means we do so much damage. Only thing is, it's a little hard to hit with the amount of spiral shots we're firing, but they, they get there eventually. They get the job done. Uh, Ruler's obviously really good here. Um, occasionally fire tears that cause bleed. Okay, that one I will smelt. That one I will smelt. Lovely stuff. And I think... Are we ready to go? Or do we want to try and look for Secret Room real quick? I think I probably should just take a little peek at Secret Room. Because I'm pretty sure I know where it is. I'm pretty sure it's uh, just below us here. Mm, actually, it's probably more likely to be there now looking at it. One second. Yeah, it's almost definitely here. Only one bomb to try it out. Is that another... Do these stack? Uh, friction down. It's kind of interesting. Uh, we'll we'll grab that for some HP as well. Secret room. Away we go. Good stuff. Justice as well is kind of nice here. Lovely stuff. And straight back to the boss. Good stuff. I am liking this run thus far. This run is uh is making me smile. Away we go. I like our little bees. I love our geodes stuff we've got going on here. I wonder if... Does having... Holding geodes and then smelting... Ge like, if we smelt geodes, do they affect each other? Or do they have to be held? I'm going to actually check that. Um, with another geo held... It does specifically say held, so... I am, I am dubious that it would work without holding them. Lovely stuff. Good, good. Chance to spawn a bed at the start of every floor. Uh, again, we'll, we'll leave that there for now. We can turn that into HP, though. Because where dexterity would obviously come into hand, but we've clearly not needed it thus far. Gotta remember that when we get hit, we are going to lose a decent portion of stats here, though. But for, for right now, I'm uh, very, very happy with how this run's looking. Very, very happy indeed. I mean, the instant sleeping is, is just insane. Look at that damage. Oh my god. We've got all these spiral shots that are like lingering around as well, which is kind of useful. Pentagram, lovely. 
Um, spawns friendly shiitake spores. Okay, no, we'll, we'll take that and we'll go down here and trade it in for some HP. Thank you. And we'll just grab this and go try and find our item room real quick. But yeah, this is an insanely powerful combo. I, I don't know how I've never come across this before. I mean, to be fair, I've not really had the opportunity with this guy to, like, double geod before. I always find that I've, like, not got good geodes to pair well together. But na now, like, this is, like, the perfect opportunity and it's, it's killing it. I'm thinking secret room's here. Maybe not, but I'll try it. It is. Lovely. Um... Drops a key on pickup if there's a locked door in the room. Um, the first broken rock drops a key. That's kind of interesting. I mean, the key on pickup or learn is pretty good. We'll go and trade that in as well. I didn't see you there. Chance to fire flaming tears that inflict burn. Ooh. I'd love to smelt that. I'd love to smelt that, but it's just not going to happen. That would be a great one to smell, but we only get a smell every few floors, so it's not always going to be capable. I see your cheekiness. Right, um, spawns a burn heart when you... Yeah, we'll just take that. Shouldn't have really taken the burn heart, to be honest, but I've done it now. I've done it now. I think the spiral shots are also spectral, which is helping too. Yeah, they are. That's like a, a big bonus on top of everything else. Yeah, whoa. We got the, the peeper, which does give us a bit of a damage up, so it's not all bad. It's not exactly the best of the best, though. But yeah, there's some of these enemies that we are literally one-shotting. Because we put them to sleep instantly, and then when you wake an enemy up from sleep, they take double damage. So we're absolutely shredding through some of these enemies. Right, we'll shortcut through to the boss. I do love having this shortcut ability. I just wish... Do you know that, like, that fade animation in between moves? This this animation there, between moving between, like, rooms when you teleport. I wish there was a mod or, like, some way of having that be a lot faster. Because it'd make the the, uh, the, the the traversing between rooms, like, super quick using the shortcut. But don't know if that's even plausible, so... Steven is here. Steven Anita Smith. The good little lad. Pretty sure there's a secret room. I'll check it out. There it is. We got an arrow here. Shot speed. Uh, oh, range and shot speed. So I think I'll take that and smell it. Range and shot speed is useful. You can see it didn't give us anywhere near as much as originally did. But... Still useful, nonetheless. We got a, a large chest here. If we get some more keys, we can uh, take advantage of that. That was, yeah, really stupid of me right there. A cracked key, you sir. Oh, dude. We got hit and now are, like, super fucking slow. What exactly is it that did that to us? Cracked. Why are we so slow now? I think the Zodiac's giving us something. Maybe Taurus. Yeah, I think I think we've got I think we've got Zodiac from our Lemmageddon heart, and that has given us Taurus. Yeah, that's exactly what's happened. That is exactly the situation. Pretty weird one, but not too bad. Could bomb to get to those, but I'm not in any rush. We do have seven keys now. If we have one more key, we can open the uh, the big chest guaranteed. We'll keep an eye on that. Because the big chests are pretty good. There is also a luck penny over by Steven. Which I think is, is worth a gander. A little bit far to go when our speed is 0.5. I, I will say that is true. But um, I think it's worth it. Rock on, pal. You're cute, aren't you, Steven? I just... I really do wish the Steven floor got a bit of an update to, to change a few things, because I'd, I'd love to go there more often, but on, on I'd say 90% of the runs, it's not worth going to that floor. 
Which is a real shame, because it's a really interesting floor. Hey, we lost our land again, Heart, which probably isn't that bad of a thing, to be honest, because that... It's caused us some issues already with uh, our, our um, Zodiac sign here. Hey, oh, we, we just got Golden Key. We just got a Golden Key. Nice, okay, let's head on back. Gonna be a bit of a slow flodge, because this very, very slow play. Uh, by the way, as well, I, I haven't really been doing this, I apologise, but people want to know, like what these modded characters are and what they do. I should probably do that and go into them a little bit more, right? Teleports us to an error room. I can take that at the end of the floor, I guess. Basically, with this character, as you've probably already understood, it's a it's a game between going down to this area here and using it to destroy your rocks and uh, gain new ones, which are basically trinkets that then on certain periods you can smell onto yourself. The reason I'm not smelting these two is because they're both geodes, as it says in their name. And if you look at the description... Both geodes have a bonus if carrying another geode, and we're, we're clearly seeing that bonus in effect while we're uh, while we're playing this run. Because having both of these on at the same time has made both of them much much stronger, and were in in turn made us a lot stronger by a factor of like ten. It's insane. Uh, I kind of forget that like yeah, some of these characters people aren't gonna like know off by heart. So if I'm, if I'm jumping back to an old character, I probably should reintroduce them a bit. <clears throat> Brownie. What a terrible item. For the first time in my entire life, I ain't taking Brownie. Brownie is a run ruiner. Ooh, I will take BFF though. That's very nice. Thank you. So very much like my speed back game. The key there. I think these community remix cards, a lot of them are very, very strong. Maybe a little too strong. Eight staples, lovely. Um, damage to the player on first pickup. Ah, we don't want to take that. Uh, we'll go here. Crawl space error room. What exactly is going on here? wholeheartedly confused about this. Was there a reason to that existing? Oh, it let us out of the error room. That's kind of interesting. Right. Where we go. I didn't realise it would let you out of the error room. It's good to know. Could carry a uh, well, like reverse world card into one of those to get out of them. Kind of cool. But yeah, we are we are doing considering our actual damage and stats, the damage that we are outputting is pretty insane. Wait, that really? That was it? That was the whole room? I was really expecting it to be a bit more than that. Yeah, unfortunately we haven't really had a good opportunity this run to do a lot of smelting, which is a shame. Normally there's more opportunity for it, but we just got really good trinkets that we don't want to smelt. Because they gain bonus effects. Amazing stuff. Ow, I got hit by something. Oh, I got hit by another thing. That was stupid. Three random hearts. Thank you. Breaking rocks is a small chance to restore an active charge. We can trade that in for some HP at least. Yeah, good thing is as well, all these trinkets that drop in various locations, as you can see, you can come over in here and uh, and trade them in for HP, which allows you to keep smelting sort of thing. Can I blow this up so I don't accidentally walk into this guy? Didn't actually mean to destroy him, I didn't know you could do that. You can also use that guy to re-roll them into other stuff, but obviously it costs money to do that, and at the minute we just have no need to spend that amount of money on something that... We don't particularly need. On the floors where there's um, where there's the smelter dudes, it's more worthwhile. So we'll try and hold money for that. In fact, I'll go in here as well. Yeah, it's worthwhile potentially. Unfortunately, it was not, but I can stars card out. Lacrophagy. I haven't had this item in a long while. This is a good item, and I think I think with our setup, it's pretty good.
a lot of extra splitting shots and so forth. Ooh, we got a tainted boy. Uh, that's kind of good. Um, I'm going to play this a little safe here and just double bomb this. And then play him like one. Oh, this is going to be horrible. Actually, I, I kind of I want to save my money though. Do I play this guy? Is it worth it? I'll go down to like 10 cent. See if we get anything. This is going to be a long, a long play, unfortunately. Can I get two pennies in him? I can. It's a bit, it's a bit sketchy. Hey, there you go. I mean, it's, it's a fucking, it's piercing, man. It's piercing. Oh, really? I got hit there. That's going to be very, very strong with what we've got going on already. Having piercing on top of this. Uh, good stuff getting a tainted beggar there. First time I've seen one of those guys in a little while. I'm happy to see him. I keep keeping firing because we do have a pseudo spectral tier going on here. Don't like this room's layout at all. <laughs> this is a fucking nightmare. We got through it there. Quickly check in here. I'll buy the soul heart. Why not? I should probably buy burger bombs as well. Why wouldn't I? Burger bombs is not a bad thing. Yeah, I don't know how good Lacrophagy is doing for us, to be fair, but I think it's a positive overall. And and also, there's a bug with Lacrophagy sometimes where you just deal, like, infinite damage and it insta-kills any boss, so it's always worth picking up for the chance for that to happen. Yeah, there's no way I was getting away from that. Boss time. Yeah, look, the damage we're outputting is still really good. Got an angel deal here as well. Beggars pay out twice is kind of interesting. Genesis. Genesis is kind of an interesting one. I think I'm going to hold on to Genesis. Because I probably should have gone for Mega Satan there. Oh, well. Um... Yeah, it's kind of an interesting one, because although we don't need it right now, I think down the line it might be valuable to, to re-roll everything. I mean, we've got good items right now, but I don't think it'd re-roll our trinkets at all, so I think it might be a positive to go for that. I think it might be quite a good idea. Hey, we found the ultra... Got a random there. Blood Bucket's fine by me. Soul of Lilith's cool as well. Smart Fly's not the best, but I'll take him. Yeah, I think I probably will do Genesis and see what we end up getting. I'm, I'm, I want to try and get one more Angel deal under our belt before we do Genesis, if plausible, though. Smart Fly plus BFF is doing some damage, too. That's certainly something to be said. We've got a trinket there that I didn't actually pay attention to. Blue fly. Eh. Not great, unfortunately. Man, the piercing's so nice. There's not much the enemy can do to resist us. Don't think we need to go to the shop here. Yeah, I don't think my trinkets get re-rolled by Genesis. If they do, this could be sacrificing a pretty good run. But I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it to try. I'm annoyed I didn't uh, try to kill the angel, though, that last floor. I really should have thought about that and tried to go Mega Satan. My god, getting farted all over the place. Takes you to the special death deal room where you must choose one out of two to four deals. Each deal requ requires you to give up one of your items for a new one. Deals may offer items. Ooh. Okay, so it could, it could end up being quite bad for us, this, but I'm going to give it a go anyways. Burger bombs for a random item. I think I'll take that. Yes, please. 
There's literally just one of them. We also got uh, another soul of Lilith here. Big chubby. Someone's a porky ally. Oh, right. Okay, I see. Whoa, what the fuck's he... Be honest. Not really sure what happened there. But it happened. Weird. Strange times, my guy. Strange times. Anyways. That was all sorts of confusing. Also, the music is now broken, I guess. We've not seen our item room here. We're just stuck on this music now, which is very somber and uh, peaceful. No, thank you. I love that that one's animated. I don't know why that one particularly is animated, but I like it. Oh, there you go. Music is probably fixed now. Yeah, there you go. Good stuff. But getting all those extra items and changing over to thingy has definitely made me more, more so on a Genesis. So I'm, I'm happy to do that soon, even if it gets rid of my trinkets. Which means I should probably smelt them ahead of time, but it might not remove them, so... I just don't know. Little shop there, lovely. All bells fine by me. Right. Quickly go, let's just drop both of these in here. Go back over here to secret room. Grab that. Then come back over here. Grab that. And these two are going to re-roll a little bit and then smelt, I think. Because neither of these are super, super good. In fact, let's have a look-see. Okay, actually, that one's pretty good. I'll smelt that one. This one, not so much. So this one, we'll, uh, we'll see what we get. Transfer spectral piercing tears. Okay, we kind of already have that, so there's no need for that. Burn heart and first pickup. Nice, otherwise I don't care. 25% chance? Nah. All chests are replaced with red chests. Nah. Emit a cl uh, enemies close a frozen on. Uh, nah, I'm still gonna roll that. Spawn a penny when damaged. Nah, again, not good. Damn. Unfortunately, got nothing really great here. I mean, there you go. I will smell some extra luck to myself. Really not that worthwhile, but thank you. We want to go for secret room here, so we're closest to the boss. Let's just go for the boss. There's also a soul heart in here somewhere, although not going to go for it. It's a bit dangerous. We get the little minion dudes, that's kind of nice, the amethyst minions. There's the insta-kill we're looking for. Uh, it doesn't matter which one of these we go for. We did get another angel deal. Lovely stuff. Oh, hello, eternal sacks. Unfortunately, both of them weren't very good, but there you go. And we did get two um, thingies as well, the wafer. Man, I really don't want to reroll all of this, but I also definitely will. <laughs> Right, Genesis, let's do it. It did get rid of my goddamn trinkets. God damn it. Um. BFF or the body? Probably the body just for the instant HP bonus. 
Mystery meat sounds good to me. More damage. I didn't take BFF, did I? Did I take BFF? No, I don't think I did. I guess I'll still take him, though. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this so far. What's this? Perfectly generic object. Copies the effects of Isaac's held pocket objects. Drops one random objects. It was kind of interesting. Could, I could give that a go. Oh, I could copy the default, could I? Okay, I see. I remember this being pretty bad. No, we got, we got Herming though, so it's fine. Almond milk, you say? What's... I've got Proptosis. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'll take almond milk. It's wacky. Actually, okay, almond milk was kind of terrible there. It took away a lot of damage and didn't give me hardly any extra fire it. So there's all enemies and pickups. They all respawn in the next room. Oh, that could be... That could be crazy. I'm dropping my active item, you goose. <gasps> Spin down. Does that count as an object? I don't know. I think it does. Okay, let's let's go. This has probably been a net negative overall. Probably prop to, like the range that we have right now with Proptos is probably not going to be great for us. We do get a lot of flies at the end of each room, though. It's rather nice. I wish I got more fire rate from almond milk. That almond milk was terrible. Really expected to be a lot better than that. I mean, the damage output is still pretty, pretty gnarly. Lovely stuff. I'm liking Luminary Flare doing its business as well. It's funny. Not particularly happy about my base speed right now. I mean, we're killing stuff, like, very reasonably fast. And, I mean, with the the high damage plus uh, all these flies we have as well, it's pretty, pretty good stuff. I just got to get really close to enemies to do good damage to them. When I am really close, I do annihilate them. Um, I think I'm going to go for that there. And then... Spin down into the bean! Oh my god. Spin that down into PB and J, is that? A four room charge spin down we've got at the minute. Uh, broken hearts can now be used to buy devil deals if you uh, have any kind of interesting. Thanks for that. I, I don't really want that, I'll be honest. Sadly, I don't really want that either. Okay, spin down didn't do much for us there, but here you go. As if fucking White Pony spins down into the Black Bean. How truly awful. This triple shot thing seems to be helping. Thank you, Flare. I wish I had a bit more speed right now. My speed is just horrible. I need a bit more range as well. Is it range or is it shot speed that I need to make ourselves be able to have our tears reach a bit further before they dissipate? I think it's a bit of both, to be honest. We've got really low shot speed, but our range is mostly okay. Pretty average. My god. 
The damage we output is insane. Um, I guess I'll do Hush. Why not? It's going to be a bit dangerous, especially with Rotten Hearts going on, but I'm willing to give it a go. I've only got five keys, unfortunately, so not super ideal. Actually, we've got six now. Um, neither of those spin down into anything of, of use. I guess I'll take that. Uh, I mean, conjoined is kind of nice. We we fire quite a lot of tears now. Um, damn, our spin downs have not been great here so far. Our spin down ability has not been great. I think I'm actually going to take that for the extra fire it. Shot speed there's good. Bag of seeds is good. I mean, <laughs> there's the keys we needed. We'll come back for that while we use this in here. Oh, wait, what? I thought I took the other... What? Did I drop the wrong trinket with this pocket sample? I think I got rid of my Booger Tears one by accident. I had a Booger Tears trinket at one point. I think I got rid of it by accident. My bad. We fire quite a lot of tears now. They do quite a lot of damage now. Yeah, it's nice to know that there's a generic object thing for all the uh, all the different Fiendfolia objects. I didn't know that existed. Someone, I think someone did mention it in the comments recently when I was when I had that other uh, blank card combo. It's good to know that it actually exists though, and I found it. I don't know what set you all on fire, I'll be honest, but I'll accept. Try to be careful with all these rotten hearts. Yeah, I like the fact that the flares just sat under him. Oh, uh, that's what set them all on fire, of course. It's just because I couldn't see it. Yeah, so the flare just sets things on fire when, that touch it. And it spawns everything on top of the flare, so... Additional fire damage. One second. Right, sorry about that. Let's continue on. I think we're going to be able to kill this guy pretty damn quick, though, if we stay as close as possible. As you can clearly see, we're doing insanely good damage. I'm likely to get hit here at some point, but... If he'd get out the ground, that'd be real nice, but... Apparently that's too much to ask. Man, you can see the, I'm hitting like the boss armor cap right now. Hehe, <laughs> go flare, go. I don't know how the flare triggers, to be honest. It seems a bit random. You just keep doing the wrong attacks, don't you, mate? Anyway, let's go back and get a spin down real quick. Grab that back up. And I think we are good to go back up here. Lovely. And we can do Mega Satan as well on top of all this. Right. <laughs> yeah, look like then it just seems like kind of random when it actually decided to go off. I mean, it's beautiful when it does, but yeah, it does seem very random. Ooh, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Is he not going to go invincible? That is the first time I've ever seen that happen. And we got the halo out of it, hell yeah. Seraphim on top of all this. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. I don't think we're going to have any issues the rest of this run. We like. I feel like Genesis is like, pretty much, even if you've got a really good run, it's like never a bad shout. There's always a chance that it's going to end up being, like, way better. Or, or even just as good. And I think this is actually... Although it doesn't rely on trinkets as much, it's way better. This, this triple tr shot trinket, though, is definitely doing some good. Even though not all the shots are hitting, it's just higher chance to hit. And I think there is, like, a bug where if you're standing really close to the enemy, all three of them can hit, even though it's not meant to be able to happen. Almost got him. 
keys here. We've got plenty of keys to go out as well now. That's just a regular trinket. Don't want that. Boom. Lovely. That's that's weird. what actually? Holy shit. That's a that's a rare boy. Got glitch city in there. If we spam that down. Marx. Oh, Marx is just stupid. Let's take it. Mama Mega, I actually think, is worthwhile here. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to do that. Take Mama Mega, use it. From one Rune Stone or Soul Stone. The guys. Get rid of any curses, I guess. Increases damage and shot speed. Um... Flips the B side on the first floor of the chapters, which increases tiers. Cool, we'll just take that. Right, um, we're just good to sort of zoom on now. And we'll hold on to that as well. Yeah, that's kind of why I took um, Mama Mega. Just clears out most rooms very, very quickly for us. Not all of them, obviously, but most. Luminary Flare does some good stuff in the middle of all of it as well. Ah, that was a bit stupid of me. Oh, pop, pop. Love it. Hey, boss man. Now we don't even have to aim. Unfortunately, this guy has pretty strong boss armor, so we can't kill him instantly, no matter how good our damage is. We can just get close. Very beautiful stuff. Taken the hell care of. Right, back we go. There was a chest back here that I think I skipped over as well. Also a secret room, yeah. The quarter. To be fair, I might as well go into a cube of meat, which turns a cube of rot. Considering how easy the rooms are, I probably should do more of them. Just in case we get a cheeky little uh, chest at the end. We could get something good or, if not, spin it down into something good. So it's worth it, I think. As long as we don't get hit a lot. Which we're currently not getting hit much at all. That was a spike chest, shit. Loving the glass spin downs. Damn. Chests are not coming out today. I mean, we've only got one look, so I kind of get it, but I thought we'd be getting a little bit more. Right, let's just go straight for Mega Satan now, I think. Which I can't remember where that is. Is it here? It is here. Let's just go for it. Unfortunately, range is going to be a problem for us here. Luckily, the flare actually sits kind of close up towards him. Yeah, this is pretty ludicrous the amount of tears we're firing right now. Yeah, no thanks, buddy. <laughs> Destroyed his hands instantly. That saves us a bunch of hassle. Even the flare's going crazy over there. Even, like, the directions we're not currently firing and are getting, like, both barrels right now. Even if your hands come back, I don't think you've got a chance here, buddy. Lovely stuff. 
I've never understood why both demons, like a demon angel, spawn at that side. Why don't they spawn at either side of you? They make it hard if they just both spawn at the same time at either side of you. Anyways, there's that phase one. This next phase will probably get hit once or twice because it's hard to avoid his shots, but we'll kill him quickly nonetheless. I mean, look at that damage output, my god. I'm just going to stand here. My iframes will carry me. That might be the quickest I've ever killed second phase, Mega Satan, my god. See if we get Delirium, because I'd probably go for it if we did. Nah, unfortunately not, but either way, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.